think. I mean, look at how perfect he is. There's literally nothing better than this. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I just arrived at the lake house. Fitz is having the time of his life. So beautiful. So my dad bought a lake house like months ago um, that is used like primarily as an Airbnb property, but it's literally on the water and it wasn't booked this weekend. So we're here. Oh my God, there's literally a place for a boat. Hello. Um, anyways, there's a jacuzzi, a dock. I'm literally getting a boat. I like would like him to just, you know, let us use this as a family house. But uh, no, it's an Airbnb. And then we also have like a pool over here. So Marissa's on her way to meet me. I'm not gonna be like, it's the weekend, which is normally when I like don't vlog. So I won't be like vlogging too much, but I'll be vlogging a couple things. I didn't even bring my vlog camera. And then I got here and I was like, okay, I wanna film, you know? So I'm so excited. I'm here until Saturday. I was, Marissa's leaving tomorrow night. I might leave Monday. I don't know, I haven't decided. And guys, don't even worry because there is a grill, okay? Because it's so cute. Here's a jacuzzi. You can hear Coco in there. It's stunning. Okay, so this is gonna be my room. It literally has like a mini bar. Cute. I will link the listing. Um, it's in my god. Oh my god. No, this is really my room, guys. Look at how do I even turn the lights on? Oh wow, that's fancy. Oh my god. My dad um, has, this is literally, oh my god, so many towels. This has literally been his dream since, like, I can remember. Like, we never, he always wanted a lake house growing up. Long story short, it's very exciting, a very big deal. Here we are. Uh, I'm wearing my Tacovas, my Annie's, obviously. A Diamond Cross Ranch shirt. My hat is so messed up. Oh, by the way, guys, when I was recording, I knew my hat was messed up. I should have said that, but I was just too lazy. Woo! Marissa's arrived, and I think it's, like, 10 a.m., it is 10.33 in the morning. My breakfast is on the way, but we, well, not we. Marissa is making the marks. We use the Clayton's margarita recipe. I think it's half-baked harvest or defined dish or something. I don't know, Google it. That's the honor of our marks. Very good. It's a great skill to have, okay? So good. And we're just like thriving. We're looking for a dive bar later. I mean, hey, I'm, I love it here. Good morning, guys. I'm out here. I just made some coffee. I have my Kindle. I'm wearing my favorite. Oh, got something on it. Wearing my favorite pajamas ever from Skims. It is so peaceful and nice. It's supposed to rain today. Marissa's leaving at some point. I think I'm going to leave tomorrow morning. Um, doesn't look like it's going to rain to me, though. Chili's has arrived for lunch. Thank God. <laughs> It is a Kinsey Sophie day. If y'all are new here or you just haven't seen my niece ever, um, I post with her sometimes. She like probably is watching this, which I've realized she watches the vlogs, which is how she like realized. I like say everything freely, like when I'm planning her birthday surprises and come to find out she watches the vlogs. So hi Sophie, she's definitely watching this one. Um, anyway, she's literally my favorite person in the whole world. So I'm picking her up now and then Coco has an appointment that we're taking her to. And then Soph and I have some plans today. It's a Kinsey Sophie day, or Aunt Kinsey Sophie day. And then we're picking Dom up tonight from the airport. And then Soph's gonna go home tomorrow, I think. I don't know what like, point she's going home, like when I'm taking her, because we've got some more appointments for little Coco over here. Oh my God. I'm also breaking out like really bad. And I was like, what is going on? Uh, but it's hormonal, so whatever. I'm in McKinney, like where I grew up, and the Eldorado Starbucks, one that I grew up at, closed and moved, and now it's drive through It's better, it's bigger, whatever. Um, I don't know why I was telling you guys that. Thank you. Oh my God, it's small. Um, yes, please. Perfect, thank you so much. Have a good day. Dying at how small. I got her a tall pink drink. Like, it looks like a, a sippy cup thing, you know? What did you guys call those growing up? Like, I still, I'm 25 years old and I still call it that. It's like kind of embarrassing. Um, 
Anyways, back in my hometown, which is only like 40 minutes north of Dallas. But um, my family doesn't even live here anymore. And like my stepsister just works here. But it's so cute. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm getting soap now. I don't even know why I got the camera out to film. I think I just wanted to show you guys how small the tall pink drink is. arrived Dom got here last night when we were sleeping really late her flight kept getting delayed it literally got so delayed and then my inst I don't know if you saw my story last no night. I'll show you guys cuz you'll literally die literally <laughs> so exhausted <laughs> are you ready to see the closet room it's actually a little bit messy it's normally spotless so if you feel free to show her. Did you see your your bathroom yet? No. Oh wait, show the bathroom first. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so humongo. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie didn't want to use it yesterday. She just about using mine, but. Right. Like... I know you have a vanity set up too. Yeah, because we're. So if we need to brush your hair, we're roommates. Yeah, we are. We are roommates. We're roommates because Sophie stayed in my room. You guys are roommates. This is all I've ever wanted from Tessie, but... I'm dizzy. <laughs> Don't be dizzy, so. Come here. Okay. And then... The next room. Go ahead. Okay, ready? This is it. Oh my gosh! Get and then out. wait for it. Oh my gosh, wait, the light. I know. Oh. Yeah, the mirror. <laughs> the mirror, like... See, but I need to, like... That's samples that are going back and stuff, so, and then oh. somebody and don't donate. It. Did you know that if you donate to ThreadUp, they can, they'll pay you, or not donate, you, what am I saying? Did you know that if you send clothes into ThreadUp, they'll send back reformation gift cards? Stop. So I'm sending half of this closet. Wait. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not and you can request, most of the time, you can request like bags and stuff. Wait. Where do we, oh, well that's not organized. Oh. That's just but stuff still, that's put in. I need this. Oh, hi Kendra. I know. Guys, look at the Texan that we have. <laughs> We should make that TikTok today, and I'm gonna do it. I'll do it from like you in my car, and I'll like your foot in my car. Do the one that's like, my pronouns are USA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll do that one. Love Dan Post boots. No. Where are they? Twisted. Oh, yeah, those are the other ones. And then Abercrombie shorts, probably. Abercrombie shorts. I saw the haul. Reformation top. Cute. Yeah, I want everything for Reformation right now. Also, I'm actually not wearing Abercrombie denim, but I always am. But this, I guess I'll show you guys. My skirt is from Princess Polly, and I saw this girl make a TikTok of like, if you're someone who hates shorts in summer, because you like want your legs covered, but you can't wear jeans, just get a maxi skirt. I was like, why am I so stupid? Why have I not yeah, done that before? That's really cute. So I ordered six maxi skirts from Princess Polly immediately. I have my vintage Harley boots, and then this crop top is Skims. And then Ew. I have my bag and my Jenny Bird earrings. Jenny Bird oh, jewelry right now. Oh my god, I want everything. So much. I have necklaces from them and I know. I want the necklaces, but wait! I don't have the any. Nordship anniversary sale. I wonder if they that's where I got mine. That's in not right now. Is it not right now? No, it's like it's always on like August 1st ish because it's around my birthday. I used to do all my back to school shopping there. Did it move? Or maybe they're having a sale. I went yeah. the other day and I saw they were having a sale. They have like pre-sales too though for like members. Looking Unless up. they moved it. Oh, just kidding. It's in July. Yeah. Um, well anyway, that's where I got I got so, a Jenny Bird necklace. Sorry, cool. See, I want everything. Um, really bad. But anyways, here's a better view of my outfit. We're gonna go take Coco to PT and then we're gonna take Soph to Boba. And we're taking her. I'm so home. excited. And here are my Jenny Burt earrings that you guys know I love. Oh, did you want to do an outfit of the day? You can do one. You, hold on. Okay. Where's your outfit from? Abercrombie. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then you have Birkenstocks on? Okay. 
cute. Okay. And then look at her hair. And hair by Maddie. Ooh, okay. So cute. Okay. Colors. We are heading off on, I'm on real mom Aunt Judy's today. We have a lot to catch up on. It is now Wednesday evening. I just closed on the sale of the townhouse. I got pushed back. It was like so much drama and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be away from that HOA. I loved the townhouse. I loved like my neighbors. Like everyone was just great. I loved like genuinely loved the townhouse. I loved everything about it. It was like really like sad to leave and to move. Um, but the HOA drama is something that I could do without for the rest of my life. Like I never want to live in a neighborhood again with the HOA. Literally ever again. HOA is Homeowners Association and they like, they basically make the shots and they make you pay them to do essentially nothing. And then they make you pay to, to fix the things that they're supposed to be paying for. It was just like literally crazy. So anyways, we are done. The townhouse is officially no longer mine. It is gone. We are done. Very exciting. We're gonna do a little haul of two online orders that I place. Also very soon, we're gonna be doing a closet clean out of not just this closet room, but like all my other, that sounds so stupid, all my other clothes, like just like closets in your house that you're gonna clean out. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, um, I just have obviously excess stuff, but also stuff that I don't really wear. So I'm gonna do the thread up thing. This is not sponsored. This is just something Marissa told me. Uh, Marissa is my number one influencer in my life, actually. She's not even an influencer anymore. So anyways, we are going, I'm gonna be giving rid of some stuff because I need some Reformation gift cards because my favorite things that I own are from Reformation and they're pricey, so I need a gift card. Anyways, I did make an order from Daily Drills. I loved the black silky pants that I wore. I don't know if I vlogged about them last week, but I definitely did something um, and I loved them. There are a cheaper pair from Abercrombie that really do kind of the same. Um, and I felt like my medi like my pants before, I had like the medium large were too big. Like they were just a little bit too big, but they're really comfy. Um, so I got the like champagne color in the small size and I feel like these are going to work perfectly. But I just love pants like this for the summer. And I also have, I have the pair of black ones from Daily Drills and I have the Abercrombie ones. They're also great, half the price. I bought originally like cream pair from Abercrombie and they came stained on it. So I emailed them about it and I don't even know if they ever got back to me now that I think about it. So gotta follow up on that, but like I hope, I'm just gonna refund it because they were gone on Abercrombie, blah, blah, blah. You guys probably don't care. Um, also, I'm like deciding, I need to get back in my vlogging era because I know I say this all the time, but I just feel like I haven't been on my on my grind like normally the vlogs like mine that i like the best are when i'm just filming as i'm doing like everything that i do even if it like doesn't matter it's not interesting whatever like my favorite vloggers ever are julian hunter and it's more of like that vibe you know what i mean and i think dom being here will help me anyways i got these shorts from daily drills which are so cute and they're just like pink shorts so obviously very me thought they'd be cute for like actually dressing them up to go out and like wearing them over a swimsuit Oh, okay, so I got this dress from Naked. Guys, Naked has great stuff right now. Like, they have this, like, crocheted, like, short blazer set that I want so bad. I'm on the wait list right now that is so cute. Long dress, cinches, and there's a cut at the leg. Like, this is really perfect for, like, Cabo or something. But honestly, like, I might make it, like, preppy looking and maybe wear it in, like, Nantucket or just, like, around. Like, I just think it's so cute. And I love this. Like, I... Whenever I find a dress that I really love, especially a long dress, you just gotta buy it because like there will be a time for you to wear it probably sooner than you think. Speaking of dresses, okay, so I almost didn't get this and I'm so glad that I did. Sorry about this like line. We're back. So I got this dress, which is just so cute. So I will link all this stuff below. I've been like really on my linking game on Instagram, especially and like, like to know it and everything because I know it's so helpful. It's just like one of those things that I always forget to do. Um, but I've been linking everything and I've been like really on it. So pretty good for me um, Cuz I'm not really like an Instagram link girly, you know, but now I am so anyways this dress is Perfect. It's like sparkly It's like honestly the perfect like birthday dress even because it's not too much But it's like a little bit something something extra. You know what I mean with the glitter like I am in love with this dress and I think the cut is so cool. So I'm very excited about that. And then I got this, um, which is just a cute little like swim cover up, completely sheer. 
I love, I saw online today the Year of Ours cover-ups. And, like, I need those so bad because they're, like, long dresses. Like, oh, my God, I just love that stuff. So, uh, I'm going to order some of that as well. But, anyways, love this. That is my little haul. Noob Sticks actually sent me something today. I have no idea how they even got my address. I don't think I've talked to them before. But I've always wanted to try Noob Sticks. I've heard great things. And then... Obviously the Sophia Richie of it all, but it was a Sophia Richie package and I was like literally how did you know? How did you know? So I'll hopefully be trying that stuff out. It's like lip products and I think some blushes I really need to just hang up the rest of this But for some reason I'm like incapable to like, just been sitting there for a week and I'm like What's going on? That's how you know I've been like something's off with me when my closet is messy like I am a clean freak Also guys this mirror has I been sitting here. I need to hang this or like do something with it maybe I don't know like I've got to like bring it out but there's nowhere in my house to put this it matched the townhouse better but it took like six months to get here because there was like shipping problems and they just like took a long time so I honestly wouldn't have even needed it for this house but anyways it's still very cute Fitz is just lounging Coco had um, PT today and went really well and then tomorrow she has an evaluation so we'll see where she's at and then we'll go from there um, just a day in the life of mom stuff. Dropped Sophie off with her friends earlier. She was going to go see a movie. She's too popular for us. It's really been a day. Um, but yeah, that's what we're we're doing. Dom is in town visiting. She's current. oh, by the way, she's currently in her room reading a book. Like, I have just influenced her so much. It's kind of crazy. So, I'm going to make us dinner. I'm grilling tonight. I know we're all shocked. And that is that. I also ordered Noni juice. I guess we'll talk about this when it comes in because I've heard it's like disgusting but so good for you and like good for your skin and I'm breaking out for some reason so I was like maybe this will cure it. So um, keep you posted because I'm going to make Dom take a shot with me and it's going to be like worse than her first tequila shot. So Guys, this week I'm teaching Dom valuable life lessons. So first up, how to start a grill. Don't worry, I just learned last week. It's pretty simple. It's actually very easy. So... This gas, or this grill, it's a propane gas grill. Wow. Okay? Okay. So you go under here, no need, I'll do it. And you twist it all the way to the left. And so right. when you run out of propane, you have to get it yourself. Yeah, it's a pain. But I'm hoping it didn't run out of that fast. And then I twist them all, and then, ready? That's simple. See, but you didn't know that five minutes ago. You're learning something new every day. Me too. I'm on the journey of self-discovery. Learning new things with my grill. That was incredible. Yeah, you're welcome for that life lesson. I felt like it was very helpful. Wow. Do you feel like you learned something new? And now I know um, how to start a grill if I ever need to. Yeah, and maybe you'll need to start it like for me one day. But you're in charge of boiling some water just for some pasta. For our summer pasta. And I'm making the burgers. Oh, I can grill the buns. That's so good. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah, guys. By the way, my new um, shades came in. Well, they didn't come in. They got installed today. And they're so cool. And they're controlled by, like, an app thing. But I also have a remote for, like, when other people are staying here. And ignore my kitchen, it's like such a mess. But they like go down. I'm sure you guys will see me open them a ton. But I have them like all around my house and they all match and they match the house really well. And they're so cute and like cozy. And now I don't just have like wide open windows everywhere, you know? So I love this vibe that we have. Have the toast on. Um, okay, you look confused. Yeah. Do you have a question? What pasta? Oh, in there, and the pots are right there. I forget that this is your first time being here. Um, okay. Just any, like, angel hair kind of vibe will do. We're gonna go with this. Spaghetti. Oh, that's a big one for... Are you sure you want to do that one? I mean, you can, but... There's another one, Don. I would get either... I would even get that one. Over. See, Don's actually a great cook. She can make tofu. And tofu's hard, but she doesn't need tofu anymore. So, all that for nothing. It's oh, here's my, um, speaking of, here's my nude stick stuff. 
So I got this little lip butter I'm excited to try. And then this is like a matte eye color, which will be cool because I actually use something similar to that. This looks great. I swatched it earlier. It's kind of off, but it looks beautiful. These blushes look so good for summer. And then this is like an all over highlight. Interesting, but it's like silver. John, have you seen this? Sorry. This is an all over face highlight. Like how does that even work? Oh. Interesting. I'll put it all over your face. Thank you for that. I'll look it up on TikTok. I got, well I actually got four burgers pre-made. I do have a lot of ground beef that's frozen. So I should like make my own, but I've never done that before. So I thought I would just start off with some from Sprouts. Um, but I miss it. I haven't been in like two days. Just love stopping in there every morning if I can. Um, it's fun to like wake up. You know what's crazy? Growing up, like my stepdad, he's like the only person in my family really cooks. He, he really cooks, no one else does. And he would wake up, like the first thing he would ask in the morning was like, what do you guys want for dinner? And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't even, I haven't even had breakfast. What do you mean? Like, I don't I have literally no idea. I can't even think about what I want for dinner right now. And my mom and I would always talk about that. We're like, I just don't get how he does that. And now that's me. That's always me. I'm always thinking about what I'm going to cook. Always. It's like, I think it's because I like live by myself too. And there's like not much going on outside of like working here. And so it's like how I like entertain myself. It's like making these meals. I yeah, I thought you had your headphones on and were reading, so I thought that you were be on your phone. Oh no, I fell asleep. Yeah, and then I realized you didn't text me back. Yeah, you didn't text me back. But that was the case. Okay, I have like an Olipop subscription, and you know for my repair. Oh, nice. Um, but I'm out, and I think there's some on the way, so I didn't get any at Sprouts, and I'm regretting it because I would kill for some Olipop right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go make some burgers. All right, making some burgers. I got a new meat thermometer because my other meat thermometer wasn't really working. I think it broke. I got this on Amazon, I'll link it, or I'll put it on my Amazon storefront. This one's already better than the other one. And, oh my God, okay, so easy. Okay guys, happy Thursday. <gasps> this dog! Okay, happy Thursday, I have Coco here. We have a reevaluation appointment today, which I guess we're doing like monthly. I don't really know, because she's supposed to be do this for eight weeks, and I think it's only been four. Anyways, I'll give you guys an update. I went to Hot Pilates this morning. Um, I went on a nice silent walk. I don't even know if I've talked about this in the vlog. I got the idea from Maddie from OK Sis on the podcast, and I was like, I need to wake up in the morning and just go on a silent walk, just like a 30 minute walk. I take fits. And again, it's silent. No headphones, obviously no music, no podcast. And I just think, and it's so transformative. There are mornings where I really don't want to do it. I try to keep podcasts for like throughout the day, in the car, whatever. And then in the morning, just like time to myself. So that was nice. Went to Pilates and now we have a little appointment. Um, today is just going to be a productive day at home, I think. I don't even know if I've shown you guys like the recent house updates, my new chairs and stuff. So we're going to get to that. Um, but I have to go in. Guys, we have great news. So if y'all are new here, my dog Coconut, she's a seven year old Morky. She had, has IBDD. She had to get emergency surgery for it because she woke up one morning and she couldn't use her back legs and has been fully paralyzed. Like hasn't been able to use her back legs since like March 15th. Anyway, she had emergency surgery and now she's in physical therapy and like there was a chance and with any of these that like they never walk again. She can't walk, she can't move. That's why I'm taking her to all these appointments. Um, well, she can't move, but her back legs can't move. Anyways, we had her four week checkup and they said that she's making a recovery and that she's showing lots of signs of progress. And I have been so stressed. Like I, I don't even think I've realized like how much it like has been weighing on me like day to day. Like when he told me that, and he just like, it's really good. And was just saying, I literally was like out of a movie. I was like gonna cry, I was so happy. So we're very happy for Coco, everyone. Congrats to Coco, send her well wishes. We're gonna continue on with physical therapy. I mean, she's gonna be in physical therapy for a while, but um, like her weekly appointments and stuff, three times a week, just so we can get it back as soon as possible. But I am so happy. Like I am just so happy and I'm so grateful. And also thank you to all of you guys who have been messaging me a lot of IBDD is actually pretty common. It's more, it's really common in Frenchies. It's like pretty much, I will say like 95% of the dogs that I see at 
the the PT dog place. I know it's so traumatic to go to physical therapy and acupuncture for a dog, okay? I'm aware. Anyways, I will say like 95% of these dogs that I see are Frenchies. So if you guys have a Frenchie, just like be mindful of it. I watched it with Coco and found it and we did the medical way and whatever. And like, so, it's just so sensitive. Sometimes there's like just nothing you can do. Um, but anyways, she just like was wobbling weird, walking weird, all those things. Definitely do your own research on it and look it up. Um, just so you like are aware in advance. But yeah, guys, I'm just like, I'm so happy. I literally almost cried. Like I was like, this is amazing. I'm so happy. I'm back home and I have my haul finally from the skim sale last week. I got a ton of stuff. They have a biannual sale. I don't even remember. Oh, the slippers. Oh my God, I'm so excited for these. You guys went crazy too over my links. Like everyone bought these slippers. So I guess we're all twins. I really want Minnesota Farms to go for lunch. I have been obsessed with their sandwiches and their lemonades, but I have a meeting in an hour. So I don't think I have enough time because they're not on DoorDash for me. I'm not close enough. Okay, so I got... Oh, I love these. These are like the long sleeve boyfriend shirts. They're so soft. I got a lot of like my go-to basics just in other colors because as you guys know, I wear, I'm wearing a Skims top right now. Like I wear Skims every single day. So it's just worth it to me. I've always been like such a basics girly. Like I, I love having like nice basics that I'm obsessed with. Um, and Skims has become my obviously number one for that. I mean, number one in everything. It's my... Favorite brand of shop. It's what I own the most of easily. Like, no comparison. But yeah, I got this like cute little bralette that matches my slippers because I thought it would be fun under a top that like a bra peeks through. Like this fun little texture I love. I also have got to keep that off my wrist. Okay, next thing I got. I got a lot, I'll be honest with you, okay? I got this little dress. That is really like quite the number. Hopefully, I actually like it all. We'll see. I'm going to Vegas in a few weeks, so I feel like I need some like going out, going out clothes. We're going to see Kelsey Ballerini. Um, it's gonna be really fun. So let's see. Oh, this is just like a little slip dress, chocolate brown, cute, easy, simple. Oh, this one is so cute like i will love this dress i wear these dresses with shapewear always um but it's just this long cotton ribbed dress in pink i normally get these dresses in a small um i have like the long sleeve the spaghetti strap that like i have probably 10 different variations of these dresses because they're just so awesome to have to throw on just every day and it makes you look, look like you're dressed up but it's so cozy and comfy and they're just like great staples to have like i have different colors different cuts everything i love those i really actually i mean i haven't worn them just because it's been like warmer but i need to learn them more so anyways i got this bodysuit oh this i'm excited for but it's really gonna be a hit or a miss. And like, I don't know how this is gonna work with a tan on. Like, it's just simply not. Um, this like, little white dress. Like, so cute, especially with the tan. But the issue is that uh, the tan's gonna get all over the dress. So, how's that gonna work? But I got it in a size medium. I like the cups. Hopefully, my boobs are not like two out there. But I was thinking that I. This is not something for Vegas, but. This and honestly, this cowboy boots are really cute. So we'll see about that. Oh, this for Vegas, definitely. I love a long sleeve dress. So this with a slip on underneath it, like absolutely wearing it. I might even wear this to Kelsey. It's just literally perfect. Like it's not too form fitting. It's raw, like ruched. Like this is exactly the kind of dress that I want to be wearing. So that is that. Like the boyfriend t-shirt. So it's like a little bit bigger, so soft. Like I cannot even describe to you guys. What exactly, which one is this? I've, I will link everything that I got um, that's still available online. The sale's obviously over, but like this stuff is just so good. Most of the stuff that I picked up, it's because like, I already have, well, not, I would say a good amount. It's because I already love the other stuff that I have, so I just need more. Oh, I got this shirt. I love these shirts and the feel of them, but just in a white. 
And these are always risky to have, I will say, but love. Like the feel of this shirt, nothing like it. This chocolate brown top, same shirt, but in chocolate brown, obviously. I got these slippers, which I thought were so cute. And I need slippers to like wear on the house and out on my patio, like when I'm watering the plants and stuff. And I thought these were really cute. They kind of look small. No, they fit perfectly. They're like really comfy. Wow, love these. So I got these slippers. And that is it for my Skims haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very hungry. Dominique. Okay, anyways, I'm just in such a good mood because Coco's gonna be okay now, so I'm really awful. Dom literally wants to drive <laughs> to Arlington from Dallas for ice cream when we could go to Marble Slab that's five minutes away. Marble Slab is better than Cold Stone. Hey sharks, um, so today for my pitch, I would like to give you my offer, which is that we go to Cold Stone, Kenzie drives, 0% uh, interest on this deal. So let me know what you think and who would like to invest in my product. Thank okay, you Okay, now it's my turn to be a shark. Okay, ready? My hair look good? Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Absolutely not. Like, we can literally just drive five minutes away to Marble Slab, and Marble Slab is better. Why? What if we try Marble Slab today, and then you see if you like it, and if you don't like it, we go to Cold Stone tomorrow. That's our Friday night plans. So, my rebuttal to that being, um, I think I just want Cold Stone. You don't even know! <laughs> like, you, what is, it's an ice cream place. Like, Marble Slab, like... Why would we drive 30 minutes to an ice cream shop when there's like 15 near us? In Marble Slab, I thought. Marble Slab is the best one. Have you been to Marble Slab? Exactly. And so to my rebuttal being, I just think, um, no, and let me actually shut up. Okay, fine, we can go to Marble Slab. Okay, good. But I'm, I'm offering Minnesota. Or should we to go to Sonic? You went from wanting to drive 30 minutes for a specific ice cream shop. Well, I'll just go with Jessica. She, why would she drive you all the way there? She would. No, she wouldn't. She's going to be like, there's no point. Yes, yeah, she would. Why don't you just go to like Jenny's? I have Jenny's every week, like once a week. Okay, then let's go to Marble Slab so you can try something new. And I need like a couple Can you show me their Instagram? Like I don't even know if they're what their marble look like. Like if you my mom is my mom's favorite ever. Like growing up, going to Marble Slab was like the shit. Like that's like I was like, yep, that's what I needed. Marble Slab. Like they do like the gray, it's so like it's like fluff almost like fluffy, like mm. it's really good. They don't really like I'll we'll think. Marble about slab creamery. Like, look at how cute that is. I'll we'll think about it. Oh, oh my god, they have the cookie dough. And the, but I really do need your help later. So like, what are your thoughts on just like, what if we have like a bit of a like productive evening? Like we just like get our lives together. And it's, I'm like, down. I need to go through some things with you. I'm down. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Hasta la vista. Oh, also, this is just Oh, I made us some resident parody for tomorrow uh, 11. Thank you, Kensington. This is um, my PSA to tell you guys to watch The Little Mermaid. Kenzie didn't watch it because she doesn't believe in Disney Channel, which That's is very unfortunate. And I'm praying for her heart, and I'm praying that God heals I, her. I love Disney Channel. I'm praying that God heals her. Anyways, I watched it last night, and when you guys see me the next time, I'm thinking of doing ginger locks. Ooh, and, I love that. And to start dating a guy named Eric. So let me know your thoughts. Goodbye vlog. I'm so excited. Same. I'm so excited. There's literally nothing better than this. I drink three here and then I take one to go. I also like the other ones. Maybe I'll also get the get your greens while I'm here. Gotta drink fast. I just love this lunch so much. Not so fried chicken sandwich, watermelon side, and then the Thai turmeric lemonade. So good. We're taking Dom to Marble Slab. She's really excited about it. So good. We're leaving. Are you happy? I'm excited to try this. It looks good. All right, guys. Dom got her ice cream. I did. How do you feel about it? I'm not mad. It actually is pretty good. 
it's it's pretty good. It's not bad ice cream. You know what I mean? Like I would be <laughs> lying if I said it was bad ice cream. In a pinch? Yes, I think they changed the ice cream like recipe because it, you know when you like flip it at Cold Snow or at Marble Slab and it's like fluffy. It wasn't like as fluffy mm. as it was when I was a child. I mean, you were also a child. Well, I was like a, in I was a teenager. Yeah, mine's just a little melty as all. Well. Yeah, they were melting immediately. Right. So it's maybe awesome. the marble's not as as slabbed as we once thought it was. Mine's great. All right, y'all. I just got ready for the day. Happy Friday. I worked out this morning and I just got dressed and we're going to brunch. Um, I'm not going to wear, I'm going to wear these shorts in this bag to something soon. So I'm not wearing this, but I just wanted to show you guys how cute my outfit is. Um, these shorts are daily drills. My top is my new Skims top and there's nothing softer in the world. I'm wearing a size small and then a size medium. These boots are Lucchese and then this bag is the Okine floral bag that is out now. So, um, I'm going to wear this like to the pool. So I'm changing up the outfit a little bit for brunch and I'm just going to like switch out the bag. The bag that I'm wearing is just my like everyday go-to. But, I don't know, like I like the outfit. It kind of feels like something I would have worn in like middle school. But it's fine. I like it. So anyways, we're going to Paradiso. I need to move this over. Stuff that I still haven't hung up. It's been like two weeks. Uh, we're going to Paradiso for brunch today. And then we're going to walk around Bishop Arts a little bit. I just um, took the air out to my hair to fix it up a little bit. It's going to be a good Friday. We're record good Friday. We're recording um, for the podcast at like 3.30 or 4. So, yeah. We got invited to Paradiso today. They have like live music all weekend. So, I'm like doing a TikTok or something for them. But, anyways, um, I will link the outfit. I feel like these shorts, like, I don't know how I actually feel about them. I like the idea of like boxer type shorts. I feel like I'll end up wearing these like more to the lake and stuff. It's just hard to find shorts that like are big enough around like my thighs. You know what I mean? Like, but also fit the waist. Like, I feel like they're just like normally like a little bit too tight, but they're fine. So anyways, last look at the fit. Here we are going to brunch. I'm so hungry. I'm very very excited. Um, I think we're gonna grill tonight because I have stuff left over to grill. I just had literally no energy. Like, it's hormonal right now. But, like, when I say the past two days, I've had, like, I can't even describe it. One, my schedule's been off because of the holiday weekend and having soap and whatever. But, like, oh my god. Like, every couple of months, I'll have, like, two days in my, like, pre my cycle that I, like, can't even stay awake. It's so crazy. But I did watch the jelly roll Docu series documentary last night. Loved. Love that man. Love Bunny. I'm their biggest fan. He deserves everything. They literally like teared up like multiple times. And then we watched um I forgot oh, I'll wait till Dom's in the vlog to talk about this because it's crazy. Um but we were just like watching a bunch of documentaries and stuff. Last night we got Wabi House, which is our favorite ramen ever. Not even just in Dallas, it's just so good. The Sukumen, unbelievable, get extra eggs. Every appetizer they have is amazing. It's on Lower Greenville. It's actually really close to my old townhouse. Like, I would walk there. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I closed on the townhouse. I think I told you guys that. I don't remember. I'm, I, we're getting back. The vlog is front and center now that I have energy. And I am not losing my mind. I mean, look at how perfect he is. The man of the house fits. Okay, so my drapes, that are, or my blinds that have come in, they look so stunning and they're controlled by an app so I just click an app at night and they all close and then they all open and they just look so good okay so here are the chairs I know what you're probably thinking Kinsey it's too much in this room hold on but listen like you have to also think about the fact that this is my podcasting room and I need room for four people and I think once I have a coffee table here it's gonna be good um, I might not put a council there. Sierra, my interior designer, she's virtual, so you guys can just, well, she is also just self in person, if you guys are in New York, but she's amazing, just hourly, like, unbelievable, and I, like, love this room, it's my favorite part of the house, so hire her, definitely, it's so worth the money, 
Um, but yeah, just cause like the chairs are a little bit higher. Once I have the coffee table and the rug, it's gonna be fine, okay? And I don't really have a choice. Like I need these extra chairs for when I have a podcast where it's like more people. And we're kind of doing a podcast rebrand. Comment below if you guys like the Kinsey's House podcast name. Because I can't tell. I hope you can't hear that music back there. I like love it and then someone said Harry's house and I'm like, oh, that's like not even what I thought. I'm not like Harry's house, girl. Like that's not even like what I was thinking. So now I'm worried it's a little bit too close. But I need it to be something like resembling like home, Kinsey's house, like cozy, like I don't know. Like, the podcast is like majority of it is gonna be shot here and it's gonna be like mainly like my friends in real life, like my closest friends. And then like the guests, like specific guests that I really, really want. Or I'm just like really fascinated by their story or whatever. Just like, even if it's like a new guest, like someone that's coming in here, it's cozier, whatever, the whole thing is like around my house because like my whole thing is around my house. Like everything on the internet is around my house, like everybody house life, you know what I mean? Whatever, reading. So anyways, I love these things right here. They're from Joss and Maine. They are so good. Also, like look at that. But I need blinds to cover, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the doors. Like what do I do there, you know? Um, but I love these side tables and they're amazing because you can just pull it out like yesterday I took a meeting and I just moved it up front and took the meeting and this is my background and I worked from there and I feel like I'll actually like maybe work from here sometimes I don't know but I have a coffee table that we have that's like a circle one I just feel like it might be too big so I haven't ordered it yet I don't know I have to figure it out so anyways love it all this stuff I'll link on like to know it this is Polly and Bark these are from The Insider. This is Wayfair Love Shack Fancy. And I just love it. Um, we need to talk about the documentary that we watched last night. What is it called? Uh, I don't know. It's about... Okay, have you guys seen the movie The Orphan? About, like, they, like... I actually haven't seen The Orphan. Oh, okay. Pretty much, I mean, if you haven't seen it, it came out in, like, 2008. So, not really a spoiler. Yeah. And, like, it came out in 2008. Um, pretty much, it's about this family that um, adopts a girl from, like, a Russian orphanage. And turns out she actually has this, like, disease that makes her look younger. And she's also, like, a psychopath and wanted to, like, take over the family and, like, marry the husband and become, like, a wife and all this stuff. It's crazy. Anyways. So there's this documentary with this girl named Natalia, and it's, like, this real family who lives in Indiana, and that's what happened. Like, the girl lied about her age, and they, when they um, adopted her, they thought she was, like, six. six years old, but she fully was, like, fully developed, had her period, and all this stuff. Like pubic hair at six. And pubic, yeah, yeah, at six years old, had her period, all this stuff, um, but was saying that she was six years old, whatever. And it was giving like like me when I don't want to work. No, literally, <laughs> and it was giving like Joanne the scammer and yeah, the, I miss Joanne the scammer. Literally, like same. And her old fit, like the whole thing was like hella sketchy. The or like the adoption agency was super sketchy. Anyways, so pretty much it's about this family and like their situation with her. Also, she's a diagnosed sociopath. Yeah. So and she just threatens to kill the family twenty four seven. She and, like tries. She pours like bleach in the mom's coffee, and the mom like takes a sip and realizes it. Yeah. She, she like has this like there's like a barbed wire fence thing that she tries to kill her. She like tells the police she's trying to kill her. Tells her she's trying to kill her. But because she's six, like they are like, yeah. we're not gonna press charges against a six year old. She's a kid. She doesn't mean it. And it's like no. And also, even if a kid's telling you, like that actually needs to be taken seriously. But well, I and also, I'm like, there are cases like. Um, yes, it's incredibly rare, but there are cases where kids kill people. Yeah. Like you, and with other kids around, like you have, like that girl that like that's happening right now. Um, that twelve-year-old girl who like stab who killed her nine-year-old brother. Oh, I didn't talk. Oh my gosh, that. yes, it's like a really big Ugh. thing. Um, and so I'm just like, it happens. It's not like it doesn't happen, but essentially, this girl like blew up this family's life, and. The craziest part of all of this, besides the fact that, like, everything about this is crazy, um, is the fact that people think she's genuinely a child. And yeah. They're, like, there's a lot of side. people who are, like, not a lot. I mean, there's people in the documentary who are, like, defending her. And it's, like, how do you think that? And, again, like, I mean, granted, like, obviously this documentary is spun towards her. But, like, 
even with that, I mean, they, they show both sides. It's, like, so obvious. And also, like, what does this family have to gain from this? They wanted to adopt a child. Like, Literally. what else? And then they get, like, a sociopath who's trying to murder them. Like, what would that family be gaining from them? So they end up re-aging her. The court re-ages her to 22, which she's probably older than that. And they also, at one point, get in contact with her, like, birth mom. And she's like, she's like, I've been dealing with this for 17 years. And at this point, the daughter is still six. So the court re-ages her to 22. The family gets an apartment in, like, the nicest part of town. But, like, it's not a great apartment. But it's, like, whatever, the nicest part of town. Like, a safe part of town. It's fine. Like, she's okay. Gets her an apartment and is, like, paying for her life still and doing things. And, like, dropping off food and whatever. And then she's starting to, like, pass, like, be annoying to everyone else and, like, be, like weird yeah like a psycho yeah like it's just like so like creepy and then uh, they moved to canada at some point oh they, they just haven't yeah I, I was doing every time i watch a documentary i like do my own research on the side because there's obviously been more that's come out since it's been i was done. also like really shocked because like we just like like we like don't be watching shows really like we watch shows together, like, together. but like we stayed up, like, pretty late. Yeah. Watch. We watched, like, three episodes. It was, like, hard for me to wake up for my workout this morning. Yeah. But, like, I couldn't stop watching it. I could not. It was just, like... How many more episodes do we have, you know? I don't know. I didn't look. I think that low-key might be the last one, because I think they, like, come out. Oh, really? Days. Oh, then I should have just finished it last night. I don't know. Yeah, but I might I might be lying. I don't know. Um, It's great. I, it's literally... I just love documentary. Like, I love docuseries. In high school, yeah. like my best friend Peyton and I we used to like leave parties early to like go watch just documentaries like I love documentaries but I just don't like that's what we should be watching like I like together yeah yeah I guess that is true because I do love like a good docu I love a docu series oh we're gonna watch the Duggars today too that just oh dropped oh my gosh and that's all, our Friday night like plan. I'm so involved in the Duggars scandal that like this guy on YouTube made like an hour and a half like <laughs> his own documentary he like put the clips together put the facts together and I like would watch every part of it and they were like an hour and a half videos yeah. of the Duggars and if it's anything like his series on YouTube, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's going to be Gaga Tantra Extreme. I like will randomly get super interested in something like Jelly Roll or like you know what I mean. Yeah. And I also I already said that I guess, but like I'll get really into something and then I'll have to like consume every single thing about it and know every single thing about it, and then I like move on eventually. Thirty so. We're out here to so. If purple and I like margarita, John got a mocktail, white smoke trout dip, and then artichokes. Cutest shop ever. We're going to try to get my favorite drink. Guys, I'm taking my talent to Sonic. She tried to oh, say. Oh my god, I just leaned on my back. Ooh. I feel like that's gonna make it worse. Yeah, it probably is. But Ow! Do you have a Theragun? <sighs> no. Where does it hurt? Here? No, like here. Like here? Oh, yeah, a little bit lower. Here? Yeah, like kind of off her out. I have a chiropractor. I like definitely did something at weightlifting a while ago, and like sometimes it all like do something again. But guys, today I was I did all of my. We don't like track our what we do. But I know that I lifted the most. I have. Okay. But it wasn't for my, I was, it was an unrelated lifting day to this, so. My fridge needs to be organized, that would be insane. Also, like, are you against coffee now? No, I just get matcha usually. Yeah, I just haven't noticed you drink any coffee, so I was just like. I mean, I only get coffee if I like, am really, if I'm like really, really, really dying. Yeah, but you but I to like, always get burned. You look a mocha at least. See, this is what I knew this was gonna, was gonna happen to me. I was gonna feel weird all week and then hit like a productive stride where I have like all this like inspiration Friday at like noon. Mm. Gotta think ahead. Anyways, on our way to get Sonic. So, um, Dom told me she'd be funnier if I got her Sonic. So, that's what God told better me. Better be. That's, but that's also what God told me. God told you that. God told me to tell you. God gave, what is it, he, you got a download? Yeah, I got a download from God, and he said, hey, just, like, remind Kenzie, like, if she gets you Sonic, you will be able to perform better. I love when God speaks to us. So God told me we should go out. Woo! Here, I really like this. 
Oh, Target actually. Yeah, why do you move the chair instead of just sit on the couch? I, like it's so, I can't explain how comfortable this chair is to me. I've had it forever. It's been in the court. You've sat in that chair multiple times. I've never. I've in the never townhouse? Watched. It's. It, I feel like this was under the TV. Yeah. Sat there all the time. Anyways, we just recorded a, a podcast episode. It was really good and we're gonna finish our show. Marissa's coming over, we're gonna grill and I need to work on some stuff in the house but I'm gonna do it from here and we're gonna finish the show. I got one of these, I'll also link it on my Amazon storefront to tell me, cause I'm trying to like fix this plant. My grandma told me to get one of these. I haven't watered them in like two days so I feel like I need, yeah, I need water. Okay, oh, time to water. Okay, turns out this does work because look, it's changing, like, hold on. It's changing up immediately. Tonight, I will be planting my herb garden. <laughs> Guys, so we have an update we have on the major. Natalia Grace case slash docuseries that's on Max. We think we've been bamboozled. We've been bamboozled. I want to say our statements were made only like two episodes in and it was before, the dad was always off. A little weird. We knew the dad was off. We knew the dad was off, but it was a four shit really hit the fan Dude. and it like twisted in the in the series. That's what I mean. Like, cause we we it's thought like, we knew, but we didn't know anything. No, we knew nothing. But also I still think I still stand by what I said about Italia. Okay. And no, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she is definitely it's off I don't know, it's you off. guys. I really don't know. And it's so, there's so many more questions. This is something I actually think I might hyperfixate on. And it's. Oh, I was on my phone, like, looking things up the whole time. But Dom and I are talking, and I was like, we need, like, we need, like, a mockumentary no. style thing where we're either, where we're either talking to people who are, like, crazy and, like, like, getting things out of them, but, like, we're just, like, real. We, one, we're good at talking to crazy people and getting things out of them and making them think that we're, like, yeah. Into it and like with them, but like it's like mockumentary style, so like really dry. We humor. would be really, really good. or we're defending like not like criminals that have done like ho committed like homicide, like criminals that have done like like scammers, like or yeah, just, like, like unhinged ass just like people. bad comes of a crazy. But we're the defense. We're the defense. Yeah, like it would be fun. We literally were like doing that when we were watching this. Yeah, we were like. like we were literally like, Your Honor, disregard everything he just said. <laughs> Your, Honor, Your Honor, I agree with you. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm going to sit this one out. Yeah. Your Honor, and honestly, you guys, jury, charge him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Hey. You want to go on lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds really good right now. No. Uh, and we're gonna get the two brick lemonade, but yeah, you yeah, guys, yeah. Uh, you guys give us a ring when you come up with your verdict. Like, we're like talking to her, I'm like, God damn it! I heard that word. I'm literally like, okay, buddy, you know what? Like, we can't win them all. And he's like, dude, I'm getting twenty to life. And we're like, and you know what? We're not perfect either. Like, that's so funny. Look, this is what your amiga sent me this it's week. So cute. Bubble bar. Yeah, I've actually gotten bought. I bought so many. I was gonna say like it's for people. Well, I'm also just like bobble bar when I worked at Nordstrom was like so slay. Oh no! So little squishmallow. She hasn't even noticed it. Is this Maybe that's why she was trying to Facetime you. No, because we I Facetime her. Oh. We Facetime every day. She hasn't. Since she would text me from her. Remember? Her? When she I know I think she thought she lost it, but then she was like, wait, no, it's my back. Maybe she felt her big one or something. We did put her big one in the back. Yeah. You guys, I don't even know what to believe. I don't even know if my name is Dominique. Dom. Like, I don't know if my name is Dominique Roberts. Like, I just don't even know. Am I in Texas? Who is Kenzie Elizabeth? Is your name Fitz? Dude, that was crazy. And also, like, we're really vulnerable. Yeah. Cute. Well, I guess we just took those two wells. Anyway, that was crazy. Everyone has like a million different side hustles. And what you can start doing is just like microdosing side hustles. You could maybe like find a friend who does like a creative line of work. You know, just like reach out to um other people who are like doing something you're interested in doing. 